What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your, let's see, 23rd Intermediate Job Tutorial. And in this tutorial, let me show you the little program we're going to be building. We're going to be building this little um, J-frame here and it has a circle in it which slides. So we're going to be taking a break from applets for mm, about a week maybe. And we're going to be learning more about GUIs because it's a huge part of applets and once we get drawing done with a, a G and you know don't worry about it just uh, pay attention to this tutorial and uh, you know that's all you need to worry about and another thing I want to mention before I get started is I got a new fish this weekend so if you guys are interested in that there will be a video in my update later tonight so you guys can check him out his name's Poppy and my sister named him and he's the best fish in the world so now what we're going to be doing is I showed you we're going to be drawing that oval and also be learning how to use the J slider so what tools do we need in order to do that well we're going to be setting up three classes here and the first one is we're going to make a class specifically to draw the oval itself and what this is going to do we're going to pass it in a diameter it's going to check if that diameter first of all it has to be greater than zero because you can't draw anything if the diameter is less than zero and then once it validates it it's going to pass it in and paint it on the panel itself and the panel on a window is like the body of a website it's that big white part so not the window itself so let's go ahead enough of me talking let's go ahead and get started so go ahead and the first variable we need to set up is the diameter so put private it would just be integer D and let's set it equal to anything to begin with our windows only going to be like 200 by 200 so let's by default set it equal to 10 so now as soon as our oval pops up on the screen and when I say oval it's going to be a circle but anyways it's going to have a diameter of 10 now this isn't going to be changed until we get input from the user to change it and the input from the user we would be getting is whatever they slide the slider to so we'll see that later on but anyways next we need a graphics object because without a graphics object we can't draw anything on the screen and once we have our graphics object we can actually paint this oval on the screen so go ahead and put public void paint component hopefully I spelled that right and of course you pass it in a graphics object and the first thing that we want to do is fix that and alright what we want to do is called paint component from the super class and this preps our graphics object so it's going to be ready to draw so remember anytime you want to call a method from the super class and the super class don't forget is J panel right here so whatever we extend is our super class put super dot paint component hopefully I spelled that right and pass it in G and what this does is essentially prep our graphics object for drawing so now that we actually have a graphics object we can draw so let's go ahead and do that put G dot and in order to draw a circle on your screen the method for this is fill oval and what this does is it paints a solid circle or oval on the screen this is a built in method so we don't have to build this later on and as you see we have four parameters that it takes x y this is position where it's going to appear on the screen and width and height now the width and height are going to be the same in this case since we're drawing a perfect circle but you can uh, change them if you want so let's go ahead and where do we want it to appear on the screen uh, let's put it at 10 10 you can put yours at like 15 15 if you want but don't go any more than that now the width and height this is the thing that's going to be changing depending on how big to the left or the right they slide their slider so this is since this is going to be a dynamic value we want to pass it in a variable instead of just a constant number such as 10 or 20 so go ahead and pass it D and D so now it's going to take whatever uh, value D is which is in this case 10 and it's going to draw a circle that's 10 by 10 which is a perfect circle at this location but then if they change the slider to let's say 50 then it's going to draw a bigger circle with a 50 diameter at this location so now that we got our paint component method set up that's all we have to do for this method so 
what do we need to do after this? Well, the one kind of check that we need to do is we need to make sure that the diameter that is passed in is greater than zero. Because if we say, all right, Java, draw a circle with a diameter of negative three, it's gonna be like WTF are you talking about? I can't do that. So that's what we're gonna check for. So go ahead and put public void set D and we're gonna pass it in just an int new D. And this pretty much means pass it in a new diameter. So in order to do this, what we need to do is check, well, let's see. First of all, we want to change our diameter to whatever value they're passing in. So set D, which remember is our diameter, equal to, and instead of having a whole if statement, here's a compressed if statement that you can do. Just put the new D that they passed in, if it's greater or equal than zero, then put a question mark, and this pretty much means if, we're gonna set it equal to the value they passed in. So if it's greater than zero, then take whatever value they passed in and use that value. And instead of writing else statement, we can just put a colon right there and we say else 10. So what this means, means in summary is all right. They're gonna pass in a new number using the slider, which we're gonna be learning it in the next tutorial. If that number is greater than zero, then go ahead and use that number. But if that number is less than zero, then someone effed up sooner or later. So if they effed up or if we effed up, then just use 10 right there. So then our program won't shut down. It will just use the default value of 10. So once you're done validating your diameter, what do you need to do? Well, you need to call this paint method again because if you have a new diameter, you have to paint the new circle on screen. So in order to do this, just go ahead and call repaint. And what repaint does is this is a built-in method as well. It automatically calls the paint component method from the same class. So you don't have to call paint component over and over again. Just once you painted once, just call repaint and it's gonna paint whatever we define this method to be up here. So the two other things, two other methods I'm gonna be going over in this tutorial is you don't really need to learn them. They're just uh, housekeeping methods for a layout manager, but make sure you include them. Um, public dimension get get preferred size got to type that slow so I don't mess it up and it doesn't take any arguments and again I said you don't really need to learn this but if you're curious what it does is it's used by the layout manager to determine the preferred size so go ahead and return a new dimension return new dimension just put like 200 by 200 and don't worry if you don't know what that does for now but I only got two minutes so the last one is another housekeeping and this is used by layout manager to determine the minimum size and again these are built-in methods uh, don't really worry about this isn't what the tutorial is about but it's a necessity in our program so public dimension get minimum size hopefully I spelled that right looks good and return get preferred size so then they'll be the same Let me just copy that and where you at paste right there so now go ahead and check your program for errors and if you are good to go then uh, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so in this tutorial one last time we passed the uh, diameter by default and this is what's going to paint as soon as the program starts up we made a way of painting the circle on the screen and we also said alright whenever we decide to change our diameter um, we need to check to make sure it's greater than zero if it is use that one if it isn't just use 10 by default and then paint the circle again on your screen so we can actually see a changing circle and then lastly we did these two housekeeping methods just because we need them I'll tell you about them in a few tutorials. But that's it uh, all for now. I'm going to go play with my fish. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next tutorial.